In this video, I'll talk about the two options available in Thrive Leads and Thrive Architect regarding sticky menus or sticky, sticky elements. Um, so I'll show you the what's available first and then I'll, I'll show you a bit where to uh, find the options. So the first one is sticky menus. Uh, so we see here uh, as I scroll down on this page the menu always is on and as I scroll back up there is uh, some of the theme uh, with Thrive Themes there, there are 10 themes. Some of them do have this feature. Uh, some do not have it and some of them what there is uh, is that as I scroll down it wouldn't be there and I it would only appear when I scroll back up uh, so this is for uh, it's called the floating menu and same thing on mobile uh, so as I scroll down the logo and the uh, hamburger icon uh, stays on the page uh, the disadvantage on mobile is that it's good for branding but there's no call to action so here at least I've got two buttons for call to action uh, so that's good on uh, on mobile uh, it's maybe less useful so and it does take space uh, uh, we can definitely through CSS control the spacing uh, but it, it's uh, it, it can be challenging depending on, on what you have there uh, so this is for the theme it's set in the theme I'll show you right now exactly where it is so if you go to try dashboard theme options uh, go to style and layout and then here there's navigation so you should have it in most of the theme uh, usually some of them is default and floating some of them they have the float on a scroll up so uh, so look look there see if it's there if it's there then you can enable that the other option uh, is uh, to set up ribbons and a slide in. So in this case, there is a ribbon at the top. Uh, so as I can actually click on it and then there's a pop-up that shows up uh, and then there's this uh, floating uh, slide in. So I've put some transparency around it so it's less obstru uh, obtrusive. So, uh, you know, it's just a button like this which is floating all the time so as people read uh, you know and then something happen that they stop reading uh, or as they scroll down they might this might catch their attention so it's a good way again it it is configured right now as a pop-up uh, there's different options we could have this to be updated to capture an email it could redirect to a different page so a lot of options the other advantage of this is that this is set for example in this case it's it's set for this specific page so if I would I could create a, a set of opt-ins for a different service a different option uh, completely different lay different colors different text um, uh, and uh, uh, different pop-ups uh, so completely different uh, and some of the page we can hide it uh, so a lot of options for that. Uh, this is set in Thrive Leads and I'll show you here uh, What I've done on mobile is just to show the same ribbon at the top. So it floats. It always stays there We could hide through CSS the X as well. And if someone as they scroll down they want to show uh, They can click if there's a video It's a good way of uh, in the video to say uh, if you're interested click the uh, you know the ribbon at the top the orange ribbon uh, and then uh, you know people can click and access it directly uh, and then hiding this could be an option so it does take less space in the menu that we we've seen before so that's uh, that's one of the option uh, in this case I've hidden the uh, vote now here so this one is, is hidden uh, it sometimes on mobile we have to take uh, decisions on compromises uh, what's better or not for the user so that would have gone you know over the text so it's a bit annoying uh, it is possible uh, we could have made it just a check mark for example or reduce the text so there's a lot of our options uh, that you can play with depending on uh, your offers so two options if you want to know how, how to do this I'm not gonna go in details there's a lot to cover but if we go in Thrive dashboard Thrive leads uh, so it's in the lead groups so at the top so I've, sh I've created this lead group so specific for this course that I'm, I'm planning uh, so uh, so there's a light box there's a ribbon and there's a slide in so as I you can see here the slide in is not showing on mobile uh, so uh, and then we, I could go in and, and edit those uh, those uh, ribbons and uh, uh, opt-ins uh, and again if I go back 
the other advantage of using tribe leads is that this could be a b tested so uh, we could try this text and we could uh, change the text try different versions and then it would split 50 50 or three versions or four versions uh, we could have some graphical elements there uh, here we could change uh, you know the text or or again have a you know some graphics some images uh, to you know see uh, what would convert better and then we can see the stats and then uh, declare one as a winner so that's another added benefits uh, to use uh, to using thrive leads so that's it in a nutshell i hope it answers uh, the question uh, and uh, if you're interested in, in this discussing further there is a comment box at the bottom here so feel free to uh, write